What's going on guys? Glenn, Midtown Power Washers, beautiful Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, man, uh, as always, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the little bell. We're going to try to do some stuff. I've got a big build of this trailer coming up over the next couple of days, so I'm going to be putting content out there. Every little like and every little subscription helps the channel out, helps me out, and I'd really appreciate it. It don't cost you a penny. Okay guys, so today we're uh, doing work on our trailer. We're getting trying to get our tank system up I'll show you how we're building this this is a mixing valve or a blending valve or a proportioner or whatever you want to call it it has chlorine meters right here um, goes down into a manifold basically is what this is it's a four-way manifold uh, blends all your chemicals going in right here comes out goes to the pump pump shoots it out um, there's a thousand videos on Facebook and on YouTube and on everything else about how to make these. So I'm just gonna go over the basics uh, of what I've learned and this is gonna be the first one I've made. So I'm just kinda doing something a little bit different, something I've heard some guys that actually build skids and build trailers, uh, what they do. I'm gonna try to implement this on ours. So here we go. All right guys, so excuse the noise. We got a train rolling like right over there. You can see it in the background, I think. Um, so this is the beginning of our blend manifold. This is a four-way, half-inch four-way banjo. Um, it's half-inch NPT. So to start out, I got these, and these are banjo elbows, all right? So it's half-inch female to half-inch male, and that's gonna go in our sides. That's gonna go in our sides like so, okay? Boom, all right? The other one will go on this side, okay? Next, next, we've got half inch coupler, half inch NPT to half inch NPT. That screws in right here, okay? Now, you can, from my understanding, you can do these either way. So I'm putting my check valve here because I want my, my metering valves up a little bit higher for where they're positioned. But you can either put the metering valves here and then your check valves or your check valves, then your metering valves. So there's a little arrow. These are banjo metering valves. I don't think you can see it, but we want this pressing down because this is our inlet side. So our metering valves are gonna sit up here fluid our chemicals are going to come down here and then come out here to our gun we don't want them to go back up into the tanks we want them to stay right in this valve right here in this uh four-way manifold so we got our half inch check valves half inch coupler half inch elbow all right got another half inch coupler it screws on top right here okay then we got our, we just got the pin tear. Um, I had to go around all over the country to find this one today. But we got our pin tear metering valve, chlorine metering valve. You might be able to find it at a pool store if you get lucky like I did. I ordered two and then I found one at a pool store today, luckily, because I needed it. All right, so that's one side. Now, on my inlet, this is, you can see how much fatter that is. This is three quarter inch to half inch NPT. So three quarter inch barb to half inch NPT. And my thought process behind this is, I want as much flow going into this thing as I can get. All right, I've got some half inch. If these don't work out, if these do something funky, I'll, I'll just put half inch to half inch barbed. You can do that, plenty of guys do it. I've got plenty of half inch hose. I went and bought some three quarter inch uh, poly braid just for this. So that'll give you these two right here, all right? Click that one on. All right, your middle one, the only difference, it's the same setup, right? Same setup. The only difference is I've got half inch to quarter inch barbed up top. That's gonna be my soap. I don't need as much soap as I need sodium hypochlorite and water. So, from my understanding and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna put this together. True blue, 
that's what everybody says to use I, I bought some other stuff at Lowe's for my other project but and it worked just fine it's like got a got a guy like a knight on the front I don't know what the name of it is but it worked pretty good it, it hasn't failed yet so anyway so my thought process is I'm gonna put this middle one on first I'm gonna have these done and then I'm gonna just screw these big ones on okay because these valves they'll kind of catch each other when you start spinning them so that gives me that I've also got another half inch to three quarter inch to go in the bottom okay again I don't know I've got a half inch to half inch elbow and a half inch to half inch barb whatever's gonna work for me I don't know I've got a lot of extra stuff I just order if I need three or something I just order five of them or if I need you know whatever so um, I've got this extra to see how it works out sitting on my trailer over here if I need an elbow I'll use an elbow but that's that's basically it the um, the control valves are gonna be off and then you've got little numbers all the way around now the GF makes a valve too but we're just starting out we can't afford to spend four hundred dollars on or three hundred some odd dollars on something that you know this will do us just fine we got all three of these valves for 90 bucks on Amazon you can find them I think we might have ordered the last two that's the reason why we had to go out and find one but I'm sure they'll be in stock the guy at the pool store said they were also on back order so it's a little rough right now we kind of just barely made it in but the only thing that I do know about these these valves are that every single person says do not tighten these down just don't crank it don't crank on them because this is made out of different plastic than this is it's a it's a, a lot more brittle this is more like a shatter type plastic that would shatter if you broke it and and you know all this all these poly fittings right here they won't shatter I mean they would they would smush before they shattered I believe I mean, it's just a little bit softer and more malleable but that's a valve that's a valve with the four-way and the exit and then that's a valve I did three-quarter inch because I just want as much flow as I can to get to my hose reel I've got a half inch hose so uh, that doesn't really matter once it goes out of the pump and into my hose reel it's going to be compressed down but I want as much as I can get on the way there uh, try to get you know as, as much distance as I can I don't know if it'll save me any any distance I don't know if it'll give me anything other than you know peace of mind <laughs> I don't know uh, and again it might not work and I'll have to put half inch all the way around and call it a day but either way this is how we're going to start All right, guys, so that's it. She don't look too bad. Don't think we cracked anything. Put this, actually, I'm gonna hold off on this until I get the rest of that ran 
to figure out if I'm gonna put this. This is a mixer valve, guys. This is the first time I've ever done, I mean, starting this job, this is the first thing, first time I've ever gotten into plumbing at all. So we'll see if it works. And if it works, you can see that, hey, if I can do this, you can absolutely do this. Um, just takes a little research and you'll figure it out like we always do. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay safe, be easy. Peace.